Here we go. Who wants to be a millionaire? What a banger. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The show that fills up your bank account. This gun sounds like the TikTok lady. Sounds very robotic. Is this Andrew's a real- going to have a ball tonight and try to play with no lifelines. <laughs> nah, come Oh, I'm British. Are you ready to make <laughs> some money? Let's play Who Wants okay, to sure Be a Millionaire. Okay, I'm sure the last time we played this, like, I, I commented about this voice acting too. Well, now I get you, you Justin Bilga. I get you. I get you now. And at the top, the million. Oi, oi, oi. To help you, we have four lifelines at your disposal. Phone a friend, the 50-50, ask the audience, and switch, switch the, the question. question. Your new question is ready. Good luck. Is he reading the question? Okay, I'm gonna read the question. Which of the following refers to the top ranking players in a tennis tournament? Shrubs, spores, shoots, seeds. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know this one. Which of the following refers to the top ranking players in a tennis tournament? Do I don't wanna use a lifeline on the first question. I mean, I kind of do though, because I, I don't okay, know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard Damn. it. <laughs> we need a little help here. First question, if what a great start of the night. And enter your votes now. Oh boy. Seeds, there we go. I'm gonna go with the audience. Yeah, D's good for me. That's the right one. Final answer. So this is your final answer? Yep, that's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. The voice. Come on, dude. You make it You're movies. dragging it. This you game it. drags it. Obviously, that was the right answer. Obviously. I would have to ask the audience what type of food is corn on the cob? Vegetable, meat, herb, or cheese? <laughs> Vegetable, it's final answer. Definitely a. Um. Is that your okay? Final? We went to a, like a pretty okay. That's my final tough answer. first question into a um, given your super easy answer. second question, which is I I'm, I'm fine with. The right one. If the rest of the questions can be like this, I'm, I'm I'd be done for this. That's what we were looking for. That's right. And one more point for yours truly. One more point. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time, in theory. According to the proverb about family ro loyalties, what is thicker than water? Loving, sweat, blood, happiness. <sighs> C, blood, final okay. answer, please. Let's go for C. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'm going to start skipping this because this game is you dragging. You figured it out perfectly. Nice answer. Thank you. Your new question is ready. Good luck. In a story by J.M. Barry. Barry? Barry? What name is given to Peter Peter Pan's young band of followers? Little Rascals, Gone Gang, Tiny Tribe, Lost Boys. I want to say it's a Lost Boys. I'm not 100% confident about this, but I'm like 80% confident. I'm confident enough. So final uh, answer: I'd Lost say Boys. D. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final? Got it right. Thank well you. Done. Thank you very much. Yeah! <laughs> I'm amazing. It's amazing, guys. Here's a new question for you. From what country do spring rolls come from? Or come? Uh, Vietnam, China, Singapore, Indonesia. Is this a trick question? Because I don't know if it's Vietnam or China. China seems like the obvious answer. But there's like some Vietnamese spring rolls too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think this game is not too. It's not trying to trick us, so I'm gonna go with the obvious answer, China. Even Final though it answer? might be Vietnam. You sure? 
Oi, oi, oi. Yes, that's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. And the correct answer is for the milestone? It's oh. the wrong answer. I was oh, right. Wow, was really I was bad. right with my with I'm my so hunch there. With myself. What a shame. Wow. You're leaving with nothing at all. Wow. Thanks for coming and good luck to you. Living with nothing at all. Wah, wah. Zero dollars translates to zero neurons. Wow. Well, wow, that was a start. That's a warm-up game, yo. That's a warm-up game, so... We're gonna keep going. Game number two. At least you knew Corner and the Cop wasn't me. Thank you, Justin Baka. Yeah, I'm proud I got that question right. <laughs> Let's see the first Here's question. A new question for you. What is the name for the plot in a garden where flowers are grown? Table, chair, Bed, wardrobe. It's a flower bed. Final answer. Okay. Well, the right answer is C. And now to the most important question. You pulled it off. We're gonna skip the trust yourself and tension your for the first five questions. New question. Here. Harvard is the oldest institution in of higher learning in which country? U.S., Canada, England. Australia. Well, now. So here's the thing, y'all. I always get Harvard and Oxford so uh, confused. I'm pretty sure Oxford is in England and Harvard is in Boston. I think. A? Yeah, let's go for A. Let's go for A. Final answer. And what will be your final answer? Am I gonna lose again? Mm, is Harvard also in England? Answer. Oh, I can't wait to. Just okay, I'm glad. Okay, you got it. okay, okay. Is Harvard actually in Boston? Okay, well done. Yeah, it's another right answer for me. Our in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So there we go. A new question. Which is interesting because Cambridge is also like an English college, yeah. Which of these is the purpose of oh, a church? On. Church answer, baptism, christening. Communion, ordination, penance. <laughs> I'm not familiar with any of these except for christening, and I know you christen someone in during a baptism. And I'm going to say, A. And that's my final answer. And now to the most important question of all. That's an answer I can get behind. Good luck to you for this new question. What do you metaphorically, metaphorically count when you are grateful for what you love? For what do you have? I mean, I do not get this question at all. Your pennies, your chickens, your blessings, your calories. You don't count your blessings, do you? You count your pennies. That's that's I've heard. I've heard that before. Uh, don't don't count your eggs before they hatched. That's not grateful. Um, Justin Brooke is going with C. I'm gonna go yeah, with C because I, I definitely C. don't know Are this you saying. Are absolutely sure? Is that your final answer? What's well, counting yep. your pennies That's for? That's my final answer. I've heard that before, but it is it's not for choice. the 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 idiom yes, of grateful for having right. what you have. Oh my God! Why is this question so hard for the f first five? Who became U.S. president on the resignation of Richard Nixon in 1974? Harry Truman, Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford, Lyndon Johnson. I have no freaking crew, clue. Um, my hunch goes with Jimmy Carter, but I'm not sure. So I might lose again. I might go back down to zero dollars <laughs> again for the answer. second time here tonight. All right, let's find out the right answer together. It's not it, is it? Yeah, it's Gerald Ford. There we go. This is not the right answer. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was really bad. 
I'm so disappointed yeah. in myself. It's I, the wrong answer. I, I do not like that at all. <laughs> I do not like that question at all. That question was... was that, that question does not belong in a first five yet. This, the first five is supposed to be like stupid easy. I should have used my lifeline. I forgot I have lifelines in this game. Questions, four lifelines, and a cash prize of one mil. Let's go. Our first question. Your new question is Third game. Good luck. If someone you have, if someone you have just been talking about suddenly appears, you might say, "Talk of the what? Doctor, devil, dentist, deacon, devil." Oh, seriously? Final answer. It's B. You are not drawing a blank on this question. Definitely not on you this to question. Choice. Is that your final, final answer? That's, that's the correct one. answer. Here's a new question for you. Which phrase describes something which is as good as new? Sherville situation? Parsley situ position? Terrigan state? Mint condition? Oh, I get it. Okay. Sure. When the oh, options come up, I was so confused. Yeah. And then I see mint, condi mint, mint, mint condition me. comes that's up. The and right then one. I was like, that's it. That's the one. Is that your final? That's my final. You pulled it off. Your new question is ready. Good luck. What is the name of the dog in the Peanuts cartoons? Snoopy, Droopy, Loopy, <laughs> Poopy, <laughs> Poopy. I kind of just want to guess Poopy for the right for the for yeah, the for the memes, for but no, it's Snoopy. Final answer. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's my final answer. You make it look easy. You got it. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. In military history, what was a red coat? A British soldier? A Navy warship? A cannon? Flag of surrender. I'm pretty sure it's a British soldier, right? Final no, answer. It's definitely A. Pretty like 90% confident. You know here. what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? Oh, this yes. is my final answer. That's, That's my right. Final answer. You have given your final. Oh, yeah, we can skip that this. There we go. Thank you. Our team of editors offers you a new question. Team of editors, gross. What is the North American name for what we call crisp? Chips, chirps, chops, chicks. Oh, I'm not sure. So they definitely oh, repurpose the British hard. questions because it says what well, we call crisp. Hey. Yeah, that's chips, go final answer. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? The threshold has been reached. Finally, y'all. Finally, we reached the threshold. The milestone, the first milestone of the night. I remember when we played this first. Um, for the first time, we got the million dollars. But that also helped, like, um, you guys just helped. With that, Ted Kennedy was a senator for which state? Mm. New Hampshire, Maryland, Vermont, Massachusetts. I've never heard of Ted Kennedy, so I'm gonna ask the audience. For a few seconds, the audience will vote. Good luck. Ooh, that's not a great. That's not great, is it? But I'm gonna go with the audience because I really well, have no freaking clue. Let's go and this is D. Um, a freebie because we just passed the milestone. Mm, that's my final answer. You have. You make it look Thank you, you thank it. you, audience, thank you, audience members. Oh, I just had to answer that question. I mean, you had to. You definitely have to. Yeah. That's a gimme. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? How many U.S. universities make up? The Ivy League. Four, six, eight, ten. Well, now. I want to say six.
but I'm not sure. Now, I know there's the Big Ten and a Pac-12. I don't think those are the Ivy Leagues. I think those are different things, right? I'm going to use the 50-50, please. Okay, please take away two random wrong answers and leave the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Okay, six and eight. Let's go with six. Final eight. answer. No doubt. But it's also in between four and six. You know what my next question is, right? I don't think there's is eight. Eight is too many. Answer? Yep, that's my final answer. You have given your final answer. I hope it is the right one. No! This is the wrong answer. No! no Come I can't on! This level of the game? Congratulations! You are leaving here with your safety net, and I'm glad uh, it paid off. Oh, okay, I just googled it. The Ivy League schools are Penn, Columbia, Harvard, Dartmouth, Yale, Cornell, Brown, and Princeton. There's eight! Damn! Damn. All right. Well, at least we won some money there. Let's switch shows. I kind of want to play the international ones, but like I, 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 I can't speak the language. I really like how the change, how how the sets change though. That, that's really cool. Um. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. That's the British one. With Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> At least our avatar now will have a British accent in a British show, you know, it's more appropriate. On who wants to be a millionaire? Still the same American host, though. What's up with that? Oh. Um, Which is not the type of golf club? Wood, putter, iron, racket. It's a racket. Well, a racket is not a, ra let's a club. Go for D. Are you absolute? Yes, I'm that absolutely sure correct. that's the final. That's the correct answer. And one more point for yours. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this what new question. What is a cafe legios? <laughs> what is a cafe legios? Uh oh. Oh. A um... coffee donut, a tiramisu, a frozen dessert, a coffee bean bread. I know cafe is like coffee. I don't know what legios is. Lie legio, legio. Café Les Joies? It's not pan. Pan is bread. Could be a donut then, yeah? Although, although there's tiramisu in, in, in... There's coffee in tiramisu okay, too, audience. right? So... This question and I also had like zero promise. seconds left. Take a good I'm gonna look ask at the it. audience. And Trash Panda, welcome now. back. Trash Panda is saying A or D. Oh, it's a frozen dessert. Do I have time to choose it? Okay. Well, the right answer is... I have enough time. C. I thought I, I was going to run out of time there. Ask you. So let's go. Is this Café your les final joie. answer? Le, huh. That's my final answer. I have no idea how to say it. All right, let's find out the right answer together. It's a Belgian cold dessert made from lightly sweetened coffee and really coffee-flavored ice cream answer. and Chantilly cream. Okay, well done. Looks like a Sunday, the right honestly. Answer for me. Well... All those Here's four answer options have coffee you. in them, I guess. Which is an alternative? Which is an alternative name for the aubergine? Sausage plan, bacon plan, bean plan, egg plan. Well, now the Brits yeah. they like to say aubergine instead of eggplant. I learned that from watching Taskmaster. You know what my next question is, right? 
Is this your final answer? That's an answer I, I can get I also says alliterative name, which is oh, confusing. I just had to answer that question. New question coming up. Good luck to you. How many years are there in a century? Come on, we got this. 100. Final answer. Well, I'd say... D. You seem to be convinced, but is this... You really know your answer. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. What French celebrity chef, born in 1945, was one of the chefs with the most stars in the world, with 32 stars? Bernard Lozois? Bernard Lazou? Oh. Eric um, Frechon? Paul Bocuse? Joel Robichon? Um, I've heard of Joel Robichon before. I've never heard of the others. I kind of just want to... Oof. I want to switch questions. Let's switch questions. I don't like this question. So, let's change the question. A flip lifeline well used. Freshon looks sounds like a dog. I was right, Joe Robuchon was the right answer. Damn, I should have it's answered time to that. Move on to a new question. What is the main unit of currency in Canada? Pound, Mark, Frank, Dollar. Am I having a brain for it? It's Canadian dollars, right? A CAD, well, Canadian dollars, let's yeah. Go for D. USD CAD. Final answer? You sure? Yep, that's my final answer. Now it's time to find out. This is one of the questions answer. where, like, I'm pretty sure I know this, but then uh, under pressure, you know, with all the lights and cameras and all that, you'll be like, was I, do I really know this or was this, am I being dumb in front of, like, national TV? Here's a new question for you Bolivia is a country in which continent? South America, Africa, Asia, Europe. It's Bolivia is oh, in um, South America. Final a. answer. Yeah, let's go for A. Final answer? Pretty confident it That's is. My final answer. It's South America. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. You figured yes. it out perfect. Nice answer. Yeah! <laughs> I'm amazing! And here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. What is the name of Dennis's dog in the Dennis the Menace comic strip? Woof, Ruff, Yelp, Arf. I do not read Dennis the Menace. But they have to guess it's rough. Because the other ones are a little dumb. <laughs> uh, I should... I want to save my lifeline. I want to save it. I want to save it. I'm going to go with rough. I'm going to go with my gut instinct and says rough. Even though I'm not entirely confident. And what will be your final answer? Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. Okay, well done. Yet another right answer for me. We're doing well, y'all. We're doing well. Concentrate. Here's a new question for you. The superhero Thermoman appears in which TV sitcom? This is a British question because sure. I don't recognize any of these oh, TV show titles. Hard. My family, my hero, my two screen. dads, my wife next door. The logical answer is my hero, right? But I feel like that's a that's a trick answer. I'm gonna call a friend. I'm gonna phone a friend. We are never better served than by our friends. You choose to call one, and we will have them on the phone right now. Who are we calling? Let's call our. Let's go. Let's call. Let's call Vincent. Vincent, our colleague. Uh, you know, he's an avid TV watcher. He's like an old soul. He just goes home and watch TV. Yes, so hello. I hope. What's this for? He knows Vincent, this. Vincent, it's Hang. I'm calling you for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's not about a client. <laughs> awesome, uh, Hang. Uh, I'll do my best to help you. 
I think B would be a rather wise choice. That's what I thought. That's what I said too. How confident are you? Let's I'm go. I'm going to choose B. You said it's a wise choice. We're, we're gonna go with final answer. Our wise you gut sure? instinct too. Mm, that's my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. My colleague was Irish. He's Irish. I didn't recognize that. Just oh, you got it. There we go. It makes sense, wouldn't it? Oh, I just it makes had to sense. That question. My hero. There's a superhero. It makes sense. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? In which type of building is the Great Fire of London believed to have started in 1666? A baker shop? A theater? Jeweler shop? A hospital? A hospital would have been bad, wouldn't it? I'm leaning towards Baker Shop. Again, it makes sense. There's a lot of like appliances and whatnot. I might just burn through my lifeline. Why not? Because okay. I, Let's I, I don't, I'm, I'm in between answer. Baker Shop and Theater. Oh, of course, that's the two that you have me um have to guess from. I want to say Theater. I don't think it's a Baker Head Shop. Down. Theater. Final answer. You had to make a choice. I didn't learn Is this in my history cl answer? class. Yep. There's a lot of lights That's in the theaters, you know. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Like I feel theater is more burnable than Baker Shop. Oh, that is not the answer. Oh wow, that was really oh. bad. I'm so disappointed. My heart. My heart. It was an incredible run. Great game. Damn. It was a baker shop indeed. Forty neurons, still not enough. Like we, we got, we got. How many? How many do we need? Oh, it get, it get, gets more expensive. That's gross. If you want Harry Potter, it was 40... Why is Harry Potter so expensive? Star Wars is only four grand. I want to get superheroes next though, so I want to get 3,000. I want to, again, I, and I also want to go back to the um, American show, because some of the questions are very British based, and I am not good at that. Let's do this. Trash Panda says, I guess back then, baker shops would be open wood fire ovens and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Justin Baca says, whenever you unlock Star Wars, I got you. Oh, thank you, man. And Rai Guy, first of all, welcome. First time chatter here. Rai Guy says, this is the run, I believe. Ah, thank you, Rai Guy. Thank you. Thank you. We, we need, we, I hope so. I hope so. Crossing my fingers. What is the name for a prolonged period of warm weather? We just had this a couple days ago in LA. It was such a horrible, horrible weekend. Um, heat, horrible, horrible week actually. Heat kernel, heat frizz, heat wave, heat perm. It's a heat wave okay. final answer. Well, the right answer is C. Final? Oh, yes. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a man. Your new question is ready. Good luck. Which family pet is most likely to be kept in a hutch? Pony, rabbit, carrot, a terrapin. The fuck? <laughs> First off, I don't know what a terrapin is and I don't know what a hutch is. Therefore, I don't know what the answer is. Let's just talk this through though. Pony, you put it in a barn, parrot, in a bird cage, I have no idea what a terrapin is. So that leaves us with rabbit, a hutch. I'm going to choose. I'm going to go with my hunch Are and guess. Absolutely sure. Rabbit goes is in a hutch. Your final answer. <laughs> That's my final answer. 
What is a terrapin? That sounds so choice. familiar. You figured it out perfectly. Oh, a terrapin nice is answer. turtle. Yeah, you don't. You Obviously don't. Um, right definitely answer. do not keep a turtle in. Uh, you you keep that in like an aquarium in a way. You a new Which of these is the title of a 2011 hit single by Lady Gaga? Come on, I got this. Born this way, dressed this way, loved this way, walked this way. <laughs> Born this way. Final answer. And I'm going to say, A. Walk this way. You seem to be That's convinced, funny. but is this your final a answer? A hutch is like a mini born that trash fan assist. Thank you so much. Final answer. The choice is made. Well done. You got it. See, this is the kind of questions that I would expect from and the first five set of questions here. Truly. <laughs> your new I really don't like him ready. calling himself Good yours luck. truly. Which of these people have was never vice president of the United States? Dick Cheney? Joe Biden, Sarah Palin, Al Gore. Come on, we all saw the SNL sketches with um, what's her name? Uh, Tina Fey. Okay. It's C. Let's Sarah Palin. For C. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure? I am hundred percent oh. sure. Just own it. You got it. So let's move on to a whole new question. What does the crocodile swallow in the story of Peter Pan? An alarm clock, a pocket watch, a dog collar, a piggy bank. <laughs> Why is there uh, so many Peter Pan questions here today? I don't know. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to ask the audience. I'm sure the audience know more okay, about Peter audience, Pan than I do. One here. Pick up those Let's ask the audience. Enter your votes now. A. Final answer. I'm gonna go with the crown, yeah, man. Let's go for it. Go with the crown. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? That will be my final answer. The choice is made. You've reached. The there we go. We reached our milestone. One thousand dollars. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. In the game of Scrabble, what is the value of the letter Z tile? Didn't we have this question? There was another like Scrabble um, question that I used for the thumbnail for our last um, playthrough. Um, it's definitely not 10 or 12. I don't think there's a single letter tile in Scrabble that has that double digit point. I don't think it's eight. I think eight is also too much. Is it six? Oh, do I want to use my lifeline? Oh my god. I ran out of time. That's time dumb. <laughs> and you didn't make a choice. Well, it's ten. It's ten points, really. Well, I ran out of time. I would have gotten that wrong anyway, so we're going for six or eight. That sucks. <laughs> Okay, this is the one. This is the one, right, guy? We'll 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 make this one work. Right guys says I feel this one. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one. Trash Menace says the Z and Q are worth a lot. That's what I thought. I don't Yeah, but I, I don't remember it, it's been so long since I played Scrabble. I need to get back uh, get back into that. Uh but yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember having any um letter tiles having worth double digit Welcome points. To who wants to be a millionaire? Ten must the be the max, right? I don't think any letter account. tiles have twelve on it. Cause it's just crazy. What title is usually given to the wife of the U.S. president? A duchess? A first lady? A com oh, commanders in chief! Don't ever say that. President? 
No, it's the first lady, but Coleman dress in chief? Dude, no. I'm going to choose. That's horrible. Me. And Presley dead? Final? That's just bad. That's it's my like Toad dead, but Presley dead. You have made Come your on choice. Now. That is correct. Oh, I just had to answer that question. It's time to move on to a new question. Which of these appears on the skin as a result of a blow? A mole? A birthmark? A freckle? A bruise? Mm. They're talking like a blow, like a punch, right? Not like a blow, like a... Like that, because that's... Yeah. Um, these that makes me. sense. That's the right one. <laughs> Is that your final? That's my final one? Yep. You got there. it right. Well done. But weird if uh, you got a blow and then um, the right you got a new burst mark. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time, in theory. Which of these states do, does not border Wyoming? South Dakota, Montana, New Hampshire, Nebraska. Shit, dude. I'm not sure. Oh, God, it's hard. I really don't know it's my US geography, so I'm gonna flip the question, please. I generally don't have no idea. Switch. It's a tough no choice. No idea. Good luck. The chat is saying what? And Trash Man says, see New Hampshire. You would have gotten it. I, I have no freaking clue at all. We can move on to this new question. What is the plural of the word ox? Oxus? Oxen? Oxo? Oxum? I'm pretty sure it's oxen. Unless I'm baboozled and oxen is kind of the young... Ox? Final answer? You sure? Pretty sure this is the one, like, one of the stuff That's I learned in like elementary answer. school. It's like the plural okay. of the word the ox is oxen. Your answer. That's a there we go. Like. Good luck to you for this new question. Complete the lyrics of the Rihanna song. That was quite a show, very entertaining, but it's over now. Go on and what? Leave me now. Wipe your brow. Take a bow. Eat some chow. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's take the a bow. Cool. Okay. Well, Final the answer. answer is C. Final answer. That was that the. That was. This is from answer. the song. If this is your final answer. I don't know what song this is from. This is from answer. Umbrella. You make it look easy. I don't know. You I don't know it. what the what song it's from. Okay. Well done. Yet yeah, another right answer for me. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Late 1186 says the song was Take a Bow. That makes sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> what Superstorm wreaked um, havoc on America's eastern seaboard in the fall of 2012? That was 10 years ago, dude. 10 years ago. Is it Hurricane Sandy? That's the only one I recognize out of all these names. I'm going to Hurricane choose Sandy, final beat. answer. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? Yep. That well done. Milestone. Milestone. You know what? We have maybe we haven't been moving on because I keep because I forgot to play the winner train. There we go. Just a little small winner train because we passed the first milestone. Good luck to you for this new question. Which of these name uh, which of these is the name of a theme park dedicated to Dolly Parton? Dollyville, Dollywood, Dolly Land, Dolly World. It's Dollywood. Final answer. B. No doubt. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? That will be my, my final answer. Yes. You are right. Yeah! <laughs> and here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. Petrified Forest National Park is in which U.S. state? California? Montana? Arizona? Oh. Kentucky? Um. Again, I don't know where Petrified Forest National Park is, so I'm gonna ask the For audience. A few seconds, the audience will vote. U.S. Geography, not my strong suit, is it? Is it California? I've never heard of it in California. Ooh, that's not a great odd between C and D. I'm gonna oof. I'm gonna go with the crowd and go with C Arizona. Okay. 
Let's go for C. And yeah, Trash Panda's mom also says C, and also Raiga and also says C. So let's go with C. Question of all. <laughs> Is this your final answer? Just Owen. You got it. Oh, I just had to answer that question. Redwood the is definitely in California. With Absolutely. This brand new question. Which of these is an essential thickening ingredient of the North American dish gumbo? Okra? Olive? Or orange? Oh, seriously? Oregano? How could I draw a blank on this question? I'm pretty sure it's okra. Final answer. I, I've eaten gumbo. Yeah, I actually really it. like gumbo. Um... I don't think there's an orange in gumbo. I don't think there's or I mean oregano is spice. It doesn't really thicken it up. And olive? I don't think there's olives in gumbo. So okra, final answer. Are you sure? I love gumbo. Yep. That's my final answer. You have given your final answer. I hope it is the right one. Is it? That is Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm I never amazing. knew there was okra in 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 gumbo. Also, I'm not entirely sure if I'm even pronouncing okra right. Are you ready Sounds to face right. the traps of this next question? In a board Good game Monopoly, what is the fee that players can pay to get themselves out of jail? Fifty dollars, seventy-five dollars, one hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I thought it was two fifty. I don't think it's 200, because 200 is the um, same amount that you pass go with. Oh, this is one of those tricky ones, right? It might be 50. Is it 50? I'm going to do 50-50. I don't have time here. Okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Is it 100? I know. I don't think it's 200. Oh. Let's go with yeah, 100. Confident. Let's go with 100. I'm saying C. Let's go with the... Oh you no! The you guys are saying A! Your After I answered answer? it. Damn! That's my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct Damn answer. Damn it! I was, I was going for 52 and then at the last second I was like... I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go answer. with 100. No way! Oh. I can't lose at this level of the game. I'm you all sorry, got it. You all got it. But you're still leaving with your guaranteed cash prize. One thousand dollars. Damn, y'all. We can't get past the what? The eighth question is kind of like where we've gotten stuck on. Still nothing. Still don't have enough new ones. Maybe maybe we should change avatar. Maybe maybe they'll help us, huh? Let's go with Who should we go with? Let's go with let, let's go with Margaret. Let's go with Margaret. H69, nice. Retired and uh, she loves mini golf, so let's go with uh, Margaret. Trash Panda collects Monopoly and plays so much of it, he says. He has like they they, they you you have you have 20 different versions of Monopoly? Damn. Twenty different versions Welcome. of Monopoly. Let's wow. Who wants Amazing. To be a millionaire. Our team of editors. All right, Margaret, let's do this. New question. One name is given to a dishonest or careless workman. A cowboy, a cowboy, a cowherd, a cowpat. Huh? <laughs> um, uh, a cowbell? That's kind of like an I'm insult, right? A. She's choosing A. This, a cowbell is kind of an insult, so I think I'm going to go with cowbell. Let's go with that. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? Is it a is that it a cowboy? A cowboy? Is, a cowboy is an actual All profession. Right, let's find out the right answer together. I am so confused. Am I wrong? It's the wrong answer. A cowboy. Answer. Well, the old nanny goat is up to her old tricks. The old nanny goat? Oh no, I'm so sorry. 
It was a pleasure to meet Wrong you. Wrong on the first question? Wow. I deserve one of these. Damn. I've never heard that before. I've never heard that before. A cowboy being used as an insult like that. Damn. Hashtag nanny goat. <laughs> Oh, nanny goat, nanny goat. Let's go, my girl, let's go again. I knew you, Justice. We're gonna do this better. We're, we're gonna do it better here. Better now, this time. Bryson! Bryson, welcome. Welcome, Bryson. Trash pandas says goats are the most a-hole animals in the planet. Yeah, yeah. That they are definitely most notorious to be like an a-hole. Let's see our first question. Which of these creates a foam when added to hot water? Bubble gum, bubble bath, bubble wrap, bubble and squeak. That's bubble bath, final answer. Final answer? Come on, if I got this one That's wrong. That's my final answer. Well, now it's time to Just own it. You got it. There we go. And boom. Our team of editors Offers you when a someone question. is not as fierce as they sound, what is said to be worse than their bite? Their roar, their teeth, their claw, or their bark? Which is the right answer. I, I have to reread it from the beginning. Granny, we don't have time for you to reread it. We only got 30 seconds. It's D, I think. It's D. It's D, definitely, is Granny. That your final answer? Definitely D. Yes, that's my final answer. Margaret, you're too cut. You're too kind. You're too kind. Well done. You got it. Hey, that question. That question Trust almost drives her crazy. She says. The city of question. Cincinnati is in which U.S. state? Iowa, Idaho, Utah, Ohio, which was which is what I thought it is. Cincinnati, Ohio, and then in the. <laughs> Thank goodness it shows up, because I am pretty confident it's in Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, that sounds right. Well, has to be made, so we're going to say D. Final answer. Is that your final? Yes, that's my <laughs> final answer. Oh, uh, you, you guys are being choice. mean to Granny. That is the right answer. Margaret That's the right answer. Pretty resourceful, you see? The, Mar the granny, don't talk about yourself in third person. Here's a new question for you. That's weird. <laughs> a zip code is most commonly found on which of these? A book jacket? Why? A prescription? Why? An envelope? A license plate? An envelope, final I answer. I thought about it a lot, and I'm going to say C. You thought about it a lot? I, know I hope not too much. To it's an easy that one, is isn't correct. it? Hey, that question almost drove me crazy. <laughs> Granny, please. Our team of editors offers you a new question. In total, how many letter O's are there in the names of the 12 months of the year? January, July, January, February, March, April, oh, May, um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. There's three. And Final the best answer. answer is C, no doubt. A two in October, one in November. That and nowhere be my else. Final I hope answer. I did the math right, because there's only 30 seconds. All I couldn't right. do the math Let's again. Find out the right answer together. You reached that threshold from Kinda had a mini heart attack there. I was like, eh, did I do it the math right? Do a little mini winter train, how about that? A little mini winter train. Here's a new question for you. Which country has butter, bacon, and a sweet pastry and a blue cheese named after it? We talked about this before. We, I mean, we already got this question before. Um, oh, a Danish. A Danish. An Italian bacon. Ital uh, what, what do we... What do, we, what do we answer for this one? Is it a Dutch? A Dutch bacon? A French bacon? A French... 
pastry, a, da a Danish is a sweet pastry. Italian. I'm gonna go with Denmark because of, the, of the Danish of it all. Final. I don't know. I don't know the butter. Yes, I don't know the bacon. I don't know the blue answer. cheese. But like, you have given. I know the da answer. like a Danish is pastry. So is right that's what I'm going one. for. You figured it out. Perfect. Cool. 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 Nice cool. 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 Margaret is still pretty resourceful. You all right, we've heard all the, the three lines that she has, so. Now I'm gonna start go to the skipping the question, um, if you don't mind the lines. Factor eight is a tripe is a protein that helps the blood to do what? Factor eight? Carry oxygen, kill germs, clot, um... absorb sugar. Um I don't think I'll carry oxygen. Um I think it might be clot. I am not sure. I'm not a scientist. Um I'm gonna swap the question. How about that? I just don't like this question at all. The question does not inspire you, and that is why you choose to use your Switch lifeline. Well done. If I had to guess, I'm gonna I would have gotten a uh, guess clot, and it was the right answer. Of course, of course it was. Of course it was. Damn it. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. Which U.S. state is known as the Pelican State? Chat, help me out here. Louisiana, Florida. North Carolina, South Carolina. Ooh, I think it's one of the Carolinas, but I don't know which one it is. It's not Florida, is it? Why would it be called the Pelican State? Maybe it is Florida. Oh, you guys are you guys are giving me different answers here. I'm gonna use as the audience. It's now up to the audience to choose what. Freshman is saying is C. Right Rai guy is saying A. Bryson is saying Louisiana. Trashman is saying A. Here we go. I'm gonna go with you guys. Let's go with A. A seems quite appropriate. To oh, I think Trashman was saying C for the so clot this question. This is your final answer. I'm gonna go with you guys, yes, Louisiana. I, I have no freaking clue. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, but no, you don't really need to scare me like that, okay? Oh, that's a new line. Just scare uh, is scaring her. Or? The game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. In the fall of 2003, Kirk Jones became the first known person to survive falling from what? Without protective equipment. Niagara Falls, Eiffel Tower, Mount Everest, and Park State Building. It has to be Niagara Falls. There's no way you can survive the fall from like everywhere everywhere else without dying Niagara well, Falls final I'm going answer to try a. has to be Niagara Falls you, you fall into water convinced. you, you have a much higher chance of surviving rather than in the other here final answer you have given your final answer I hope it is the right one of course here we go there we go and boom one more answer aha <laughs> Ha! Oh, Margaret. Oh, Margaret. Now that you've released the pressure, here's Stop saying I question. release the pressure. I don't like that. I don't like that. Complete the title of the Ernest Hemingway story. The Snows of where? Kilimanjaro, Everest, K2, Mount Fuji. I don't think it snows on Kilimanjaro or K... Uh, so I don't know. K2, it does snow in K2, doesn't it? Everest, the snows of Everest does sound right. I'm gonna go my 50-50. You know what? No, actually, no. No lifeline for me. I'm gonna go with Everest, the snows of Everest. That sounds like a beautiful and too book bad title. If I'm wrong. Final answer. Are you sure? The snows yes, of Mount Fuji. Final answer. If this is your kinda, final kinda, answer, kinda, kinda, let's hope sounds it's pretty the good correct too, but answer. Everest is a be much better title. No! So close. It's the first answer well, that I disregard too. Kilimanjaro. To tricks. I was like, there's oh, no way the it snows answer. in Kilimanjaro. Does it actually is, snow in Kilimanjaro? Walking out of here with I guess if, it, if anywhere, if it's prize. tall enough, it will snow, right? That's actually snow in Kilimanjaro, huh?
Oh, damn it. Wow. Not doing well tonight, huh? But we're gonna keep going. At least, at least, let's just reach that 32 grand, you know what I mean? Let's not go with Granny anymore. I don't wanna. I don't like. I don't like Danny. I don't like Danny. What do we got here? Julie? Massimo? Let's go with Massimo. He's a CEO. He likes cars. Let's go, Massimo. He is gonna be so annoying, Trash Fan said. We haven't even heard him yet. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. Complete the title of the popular song. Tulips from. I have no freaking other. I, 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 I have no freaking clue. clue. Rotterdam, Amsterdam, and Swandam don't give a damn. <laughs> well. I don't know the song title, but I do know Amsterdam is uh, hmm. the right answer. I'm gonna say, I B. think Rotterdam is, is uh, that will be. It my might be final Rotterdam. Answer. It might be Rotterdam, if isn't this it? This is your final answer. Let's hope it's the correct answer. I hope it's Amsterdam. That okay, good. Is Thank the you. Right answer. A meticulous, well-executed job. Oh, he's so posh. I hate him. I hate him. It's time to move on. He to doesn't a need new to question. be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He's, he's he's a fucking rich CEO who likes a lot of cars. Which part of the ship shares its name with a collection of playing cards? Sail, anchor, deck, funnel. Anchor. Final it's answer. B. Of course. It's B. Of course. Yep. This guy's already in the one percent. Absolutely. He's already a so millionaire. Absolutely. Is this your final answer? And Trashman oh, is def definitely called it on him being yes. annoying. Yeah, that's my right. final answer. Oh, I can't wait. And what? Unfortunately, this is the wrong answer. Oh, it's oh, the end for you. Fuck. Oh, but I'm so ashamed. So ashamed. Well, I'm. Yeah, no, I am you actually pretty ashamed. I, I literally Come have on. a brain fart in now there. You leave with yeah, nothing. I, I have I'm a brain fart you. there. I was thinking of the brand of cards. It was Anchor? Playing cards? Is that? No, it's bicycle. I don't even know why. Like I went for anchor. Oh no! It's definitely a deck, isn't it? That was dumb. I, I that was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> oh, I definitely did not think that through. That was dumb. My brain definitely just farted there. Oh my god. Oh, Trashman just said you just wanted to change characters. Yeah, you know, for sure. That's definitely what I wanted to do. That's right. That's why right. That's why I answered wrong on purpose. That's why. Oh my god. That was so dumb. How about Ruben? He's 29 years old. He's a consultant and he likes fashion. So let's go with Ruben. A deck of cards, of course. In my mind, it was asking like, which of these ones is a famous brand of playing cards, which is not what the question was asking about. Oh, I'm dumb. Your new question is ready. Good luck. What city is the home of Major League Baseball's Yankees? New York City, San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit hmm. is New York City. Uh, Final let's answer. Not waste any time. A. Why are why is everyone British except for the host? I know you are waiting for me. I'm to so confused. You. So let's go. Is this your final answer? You pulled it off. Millionaire is a British game show. Right the host answer. should have been the British. I do not like Bad. you at all. Wow. Here's a new question. Wow, that was a horrible line read. Wow. In a popular children's story, who was the brother of Gretel? Tweedle D, Raggedy Andy, Jack, Hansel. Hansel. No Final doubt, answer. Really. 
It, it's D. Why is everyone sounding so posh? I don't. I don't get it. Is I don't get it. Your final. Um, that's my final answer. So nasally. I hate All you. All right. Let's I find hate out you. The right <laughs> Oh, that's what that, we were looking for. That, that is an right. annoying voice if there's any there's only one. Ching. Okay, we're driving up the jackpot. Oh, please. 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 And let's go for a They're all from question. the worst part of England, I agree. Which of these US states has no Pacific coastline? California, Hawaii, Oregon, Nevada. Sounds like a mustache twirling villain, Justin Buck. I, that's an absolutely on point description there. Nevada, hey, final answer. No doubts whatsoever, obviously. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? That will be my final answer. If this. It's like someone time, trying to do a br bad you British right. accent, you know what I mean? And a right answer for the coolest contestant. No, thank you. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time. Which of these theory. is an American cocktail? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Joan Collins, Phil Collins, Tom Collins, Michael Collins. I want to say... Tom Collins? Because I think Phil Collins is a singer. Tom Collins is the let's drink. Let's go for C. Because I know there's a let's joke about it. Like, time. I want to order a Phil Collins, and then it's actually Final Tom answer? Collins. I think that was you it. You sure? Well, yes. That's my final answer. You have given your final answer. That's an answer I go. can get behind. Your new question is ready. Good luck. Since 1845, the U.S. presidential elections have been traditionally held in what month? September, October, November, December. Oh, it's in um, my birthday month, which is PC, November. Obviously. Final answer. Uh, no taking risks. So this is your final answer? I think it was That's November, my right? Final answer. Pretty sure it's November. The choice you reached the pressure. Oh yeah. A winner train. This guy sounds like Richard Ayoade. Oh my god, you're absolutely right. He does sound like Richard Ayoade. So let's move on to a whole new question. But more annoying though. In fashion, what do the initials DK stand for in abbreviation DKNY? Diana Kien? Danny K? <laughs> Donna Karan? <laughs> Dean Keeley? My gut instinct says Donut Koran. I don't know why I know that. Let's go with. Oof. Let's go with. Let's go with phone a friend. Of course, you need to phone someone who knows the answer. I think Donut Koran. I don't know why did that name pops up to me, but I'm gonna ask my. This guy also knows fashion. He should know this. Mark, Michael, Eddie, Paul. Uh. Let's go with Michael. He also works in fashion, and he no, he you know he also he works for DKNY. Pretty sure it's C. Michael, my savior. Uh, Why you guys I'm say a C? With an awful question, I think. You have to help. And you guys say you guys are saying Donkey Kong. Uh, uh, the great Reuben has met his match. Let that be a lesson to you. Go on, tell me. What's the question? And it's, it's C, obviously. I'm there we sure go. Of it. There we go. I don't know who writes and who writes all these lines and who you acted in them, but is, right? yikes, y'all. Is this yikes. your final answer? Um, that's my final answer. They're a whole family of villains. If this is your <laughs> final answer. Oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Answer. Come on, it has you to be. There we go. At the pace you're going, you're going to make short work of this new question. What herbicide was used by U.S. forces in the Vietnam War? Agent Yellow, Agent Red, Agent Orange, Agent Gray. I want to say it's Agent Yellow. That's why you see all the movies all about Vietnam Wars. There's a lot, a lot of the yellow tint on there. I'm pretty sure that's hey, that. Final answer. But I'm... Not 
not sure. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final answer? Well, yes. I think? That's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. I think? Oh, <sighs> Yes, but Agent the Orange. questions were also too hard. Ha! You can't say the questions were too hard. That's the point of the game. You're your safety net, and I'm glad it paid off. Agent Orange. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Guys, don't Google. Don't Google Agent Orange. The pictures that come up is, is horrifying. Ah. That's sad. Ah. But now we know. Anywho. Moving on to the next game. Do I want Ruben? <laughs> Who should we go for? Let's go with Pablo. Let's see. This old man can be annoying, right? Let's see. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this Which new question. Which phrase refers to, to, char to charging prices that seem far too high? I don't know this. Moonlight theft, sunlight burglary, daylight robbery, twilight stealing. <laughs> no, it's daylight robbery. I actually do know this. C is the right answer. I would stake my life on it. I can okay. I can bear this um this man. Final answer. That's my final answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's okay. He's bearable. That's he's bearable. I can get behind. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. Yeah, he's, he's British too. Every all the contestants are, are British for, for whatever weird question? reason. Which of these is a tour of several drinking places with one or more drinks enjoyed at each? Pop Amble, Pop Crong, Pop Doddle, Pop Creep. <laughs> Well, I, uh, there, there's definitely some pub creep, but that's not like what we're looking for. The I answer is pub B. crawl. I have no doubt. He's been a smoker his whole life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go. Definitely, is this contestant this your final has answer? definitely been a smoker his whole life. Oh, yes, that's my final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. You really know your answers. One more right answer. Oh <laughs> my goodness, what talent. <laughs> Look at that, he's a happy dude. He's a happy dude. You I know. think we all agree. I'm happy. We for can him. move on to this new question. Where does the superhero Batman traditionally fight crime? Emerald City? Gotham City? Windy City? Forbidden City? Gotham City, final answer. B for me. And yeah. we're just gonna we're gonna skip through this. Which of these was a long-running TV game show? Supermarket Sweep, Grocery Gamble, Laundromat Lottery, Restaurant Race. Let's Supermarket Sweep. A. Final answer. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final answer? That's an answer there we I go. can get behind. Restaurant Race is a good See, one, though. Restaurant Race is probably good, like, spin-off show. All... Good luck to you for this new question. In Anna Sewell's classic children's novel, what is Black Beauty? Is that a, a, ho a horse, right? Horse, jewel, car, estate. I'm pretty sure it's a horse. Okay. Final answer. I haven't. Sp I'm going to pick A. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? I think. Um. Yeah, that's like my that's final the, that was my, like even before the options come up, I was you like, isn't that a horse? So. Answer. I hope it's right. There we go. Winner! If you take back something you said, you are said to eat your what? Letters, words, syllables, paragraphs. Eat your words. Well, I'm gonna try B. 
Final answer? Final answer. That'll be my final answer. You have made your choice. Got it Thank right. you very much. Well done. With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back... <laughs> Two grand, come on. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. What ingredient is added to caramel to make it toffee? Almonds? Milk? Butter? Ground hazelnut, hazelnuts? Okay. I haven't spent this many years educating I'm myself pretty sure it's milk. not know the answer to this question. Never mind, right guy says butter. Makes sense, wouldn't it? Because toffee is like thicker. Uh, is it thicker? I don't know. I don't actually know what toffee is, so butter. It's really just butter and sugar, right guy says. So I'm going to go yeah, with that. See, butter, final right. answer. Okay, see. Milk and caramel. Are you absolutely not that I think sure? about it. Yeah, that doesn't is really that make your toffee, does answer? it? Milk and caramel is just like um, milk and caramel. That's my final answer. The choice is made. Butter. But you are right. You see, experienced contestants always win the day. When he says experience, does he mean old? <laughs> and uh. here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. What is the last name of Bart and Liz's school principal on The Simpsons? Wiggum? Skinner? Chalmers? Lovejoy. It's Skinner, right? It's Principal Skinner. I final answer. Beef. I have no Final doubt. answer. Is that your final? Yes. Rye guy final makes their answer. own toffee when they make you cookies. That's nice. Answer. That's I awesome, dude. The right one. Wow. That's what we were looking for. I can't even... Uh, my, my baking and One cooking skills are right so <laughs> basic. I can't <laughs> even do what that. Talent. <laughs> and Trash Panda, of course, have a Simpsons Monopoly. <laughs> All right. I hope you have recovered from your emotions, because here is your new question. During World War I, which country was led by Wilhelm II? Austria, Hungary, Russia, Germany, Belgium. Right, so my first thought was Germany. But then Austria Hungary shows up, and I was like, that might be it. Belgium and Germany, Belgium, Germany is so close to. I think it's either Austria Hungary or Germany, and because of that, I'm gonna use my 50 50, please. Okay, please take away my two first gut instinct was Germany. And leave the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Austria Hungary is like. I don't think it's a Wilhelm. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go with Germany. I'm gonna go in with my, my first gut instinct and go with Germany. Cross my fingers for 16 grand. This might be the high score tonight. That's my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. Is it? Yes. But you are right. Yes, 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 yes. You see? Experienced cont This is for the second milestone, y'all. Second you will be asked milestone. A new here. question now. According to the traditional rhyme, which of these fits the children born on a Thursday? What? Far to go, loving and giving, full of woe, works hard for a living. Um... I have no freaking clue. I'm gonna ask the audience. Okay, audience. This question is worth a good prize. Take a good look at it. I might I might now. know that from Kingsman too, right guy. I'm not yeah, I'm, you might be right on that. Oh, it's not great, is it? But I, uh, far to go on a Thursday? I'm gonna go with the audience. Let's I don't know what the a. rhyme is. Do I wanna swap the question? No, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna spend you two to lifelines on a question. Is this your final answer? Um that's my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. The threshold has been reached. $32,000! Second milestone. The game Five is more questions, tougher, guys. Five more questions. Question. 
The Cook Islands form a territory of which country? Papua New Guinea. Great Britain. Well, now. Australia. New Zealand. I thought it's Australia. When it first came up, I thought it's Australia. Oh, could it be New Zealand, though? I don't think it's New Zealand. New Zealand is just those two islands, and that's it. I think it's Australia. It might be a territory of Great Britain, too, though. Hmm. Oh, the chat are saying D. The chat is saying D. I'm gonna go with you all. It's New Zealand. D, Final think. answer. Well, actually. I'm sure of it. And what will be your final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. Is it New Zealand? The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. Well done, y'all. Well done. That just goes Sixty-four thousand dollars. Still in good shape. Sixty-four thousand dollars. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? A red-headed boy nam named Lampwick is a character in which Disney film? Peter Pan, Pinocchio, The Rescuers, The Rarest of Cats. It has to be Peter Pan, right? Because Pinocchio is Pinocchio, and Aristocats Cats are like a bunch of cats. I don't never heard of The Rescuers. Is it Peter Pan? Chat, do y'all know? The one that makes sense is only Peter Pan. Lampwick. Bryson says I he they, they think it's B. Should I phone a friend? Let's phone a friend. Ten seconds. We are left. never better served than by our friends. You choose to call one. Have them on the phone right now. Let's go with Theo, our son. He's a big Disney head. He goes to Disneyland every year. He never misses a Disney movie. Good evening. You're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, good evening. Uh, how are you? Very good. I'm in good company, but now we need your help. I'm in well, good company. Especially me in this instance. Listen up, Theo, because I'm really drawing a blank here. From what I remember, I would say B. But honestly, yeah. my, my memory can fail me, okay? He, the, the guy's saying B, chat is saying B. Let's go with well, B, Pinocchio, final answer. B. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? That'll be my final answer. The choice is made. That is well done, y'all. Well done, y'all. Well done, my son, Theo. $125,000. I have no idea what the rescuers are. <laughs> new question now. What, oh, what is the name of the evil moneylender in Charles Dickens' Bleak House? Macwitch? Smallweed? Jaggers? Monks? Guys, I'm just going to say it right here. I'm going to flip the question. I know nothing about you literature. To play I don't even have to switch. guess. Good luck to you. Is it monks? If I had to guess, I'll have guessed monks. Small weed, okay. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. Oh come on! You changed me from from Charles Dickens to Shakespeare. Which Shakespeare play features the Prince of Mor Morocco and the Prince of Aragon? Ah, Othello, King Lear, The Merchant of Venice, The Tempest. If I have to guess, it's The Merchant of Venice. Unless anyone in the chat, unless anyone in the chat knows anything, I'm gonna take this money and run for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. I'm I'm not confident enough to answer this and I want to get those neurons. 
10 seconds to get your answer in y'all in chat if anyone knows that. If not, I'm walking out and that's my final answer. Well done. Fantastic. Oh, there's not they're not it even telling me the, the correct game. answer? Wow. Yeah, they're not telling us what the correct answer is. 350 neurons. Still so far. Still so far away from the three grand we need for superheroes. Look at that. Wow. Alright, y'all. One last game. We're doing one last game here tonight. Should we go easy? Let's go easy and let's get to a million dollars. Let's go easy. Who was the president of the United States in 2020? Oh, definitely not Kanye West. Um, it's Donald. I'm gonna say it's Trump, right? A. Yeah, Trump. Final answer. Is that your like, final answer? Was it Obama? That'll no, it's not Obama. Final answer. It was not Obama. You have get just own it. This Which of these is a musical musical instrument? A square, a triangle, a circle, a cube. Triangle. Hey, final me. answer. Where you had to make a choice. Blasting Trudy. That That's the one. Let's go for a whole new question. Which sport is done on a horseback? Equinistrianism? Horseshoes? Leapfrog? Nightification. That's not a thing. It's equinistrianism. Let's go with A. What a hard word to say. Final answer? Equestrian. That's my final Equestrianism. Equestrianism. The choice is made. It's time to discuss. Of course. Your new. What does the expression knee high to a grasshopper mean? Ooh, I do not know that. That you're short, that you're tall, that you're jumpy, that you're curious. Knee high to a grasshopper. It's knee high to a grasshopper, which means you're short, right? Yeah. I'm if you're a knee to high to a grasshopper, you are short. Final? Very short. Oh. You make it look easy. You got it. Our oh, we're not okay. even getting dollars. I haven't spent this Which many years Star Wars character not got his own movie in 2018? Luke Skywalker, Han, Han Solo, R2D2, C3PO. It's Solo. I Final would say answer. Me. I have no doubt. You know, this money is safe. Who was inaugurated as the president of the United States in January of 2009? Barack Obama. Final Leave answer. Is that your final? Yeah, we're, we're blasting, Trudis, blasting Trudis, baby. Blasting Trudis. 2,000 stars? Still it's not even dollars. Shape. Okay. Are we getting some new runs? I hope we're getting some new runs. At the pace you're going, you're going to make short work of Where this Where does surfing question. come from? Hawaii. Right? France, Australia, United States, Polynesia. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> well, I just said Hawaii, which is technically in the United States, but then Polynesia comes up, which, you know. Uh, oh, boy. This is a trick question. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use my 50-50 because because of the Let's U.S. Polynesia, Hawaii. That's kind of like, you know, borderline. You, you son of a bitch. I. This is a trick question. What the heck? I'm pretty sure it it, it it's from Hawaii. I'm pretty sure it's from Hawaii, the it's United right. States, which is the okay. United States. C. Final answer. Final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope oh, it's the correct no. answer. 
I knew it. I freaking knew it. It's you that have trick to that question. Voice. That's the wrong answer. Oh, well. Great. It was like... What? Oh, come on now. Oh, it does translate to neurons. Okay, well, I'm, I don't want to go out like that, so I'm gonna do one more last game. This is the true last game. We're doing it again. We're doing it an easy still. I think because surfing was ha happening way before Hawaii was a state. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Which of these is not a hero in a Cars movie? Lightning McQueen, Mater, Sally, Dumbo. Dumbo, I would final say answer. D, obviously. Is that your final? Yes. It was invented That's in 400 AD answer. in Polynesia, which is now Hawaii. You have that was a trick. See? Answer. Now is the time to uh, see. That was just that was just not you got it. a good question One for millionaire. Right because millionaires they shouldn't Our do like a trick question like that. Offers you a new question. Which of these is not a unit for measure for length? A meter, a foot, an inch, an ear. I believe an ear is actually a unit of measure for something, but not for length. It's D, I think. I I'm choosing D. You figure There we go. Good luck to you for this new question. What comes after winter? Where we are right now, it's spring. Summer, fall, spring. What is D will be? <laughs> the ice age. That's funny. It's spring, final MC, answer. C, right? Okay, C. And you got it right. What animal can change colors? A chameleon, a praying mantis, an iguana, a grasshopper. Chameleon, Let's final go answer. With a. Are you absolutely sure? Is yes. that your final answer? That is. Let's think. What kind of animal is a kiwi? A fish, a bird, an insect, a fruit? Technically a fruit, but it's not an animal, is it? It's a kiwi, it's a bird. I would say B. I have no doubt. See, they shouldn't final even answer? put a fruit in there, because that would be confusing, uh, wouldn't it? That's my final answer. You got to that threshold. There we go. So you are in good shape. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. What do you drive in the burnout video games? I love burnouts. I love the burnout games. Motorcycles, cars, airplanes, spaceships. You drive a car. B for answer. me. And now to the most important. You make it look easy. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. Which Olympian is Percy Jackson's father? Oh, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, Percy Jackson is a fictional character. It was like Olympian. I thought it's like Olympic athlete. It's not the Olympic athlete. This is like the god. Um, Percy Jackson is the, is the son of thunder, which is Zeus, I believe. Zeus, I'm final answer. Oh, no. A. Right guy says C. I haven't locked it in yet. I haven't, I haven't locked it in yet. Everybody's saying C is Poseidon. So let's go with Poseidon. You have um, to make a choice. Is that your I thought Percy Jackson answer? is like has to do with th thunder. Oh, yes. Is Percy Jackson have to do with like seas, answer. the ocean, Poseidon? The choice is made. Oh. oh. Yeah, I remember watching this uh, movie as a kid. Experienced contestants all. It's been a while. It's day. been a long, long while. It is the uh, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of the At Percy the Jackson and the going, Lightning you're going Thief. To make short work of this new question. That was a movie. Um, what fruit is also a bird? Dude, we literally just had this conversation. Grape, mango, kiwi, banana. Okay. I kiwi, see final answer. The right answer. I would stake my life on it. You really... Let's in which game did Pauline, a heroine uh. and singer in the musical group in... What? A heroine and a singer in a musical group in Super Mario Odyssey make her fierce make her first appearance. Oh, I did not know that. I thought her first appearance was Super Mario Odyssey. 
It can be Donkey Kong. That's way too early. I want to say Mario Tennis Aces, maybe. Right? Because that makes sense. Tennis. Oh, everybody's saying C. Oh, my God. Kimbler. Welcome. Everybody's saying C. Donkey Kong. Really? Well, yet C, right? Okay. Okay. C. I trust you guys. And now to the most Pauline Donkey Kong. I never knew that. Is this never your knew that. Final answer. That'll be my final answer. All oh, she's right. the lady in Let's distress in 1981, right Donkey Kong. You make it look easy. You got it. Oh, that, I did not know if that. I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Interesting. Yeah, same with Mario. Is wow, that is a with great fun fact for question. trivia, huh? In what year did the Titanic sink? 1912? 1932? 1962? 1982? Pretty confident it's 1912, right? Let's go with A. Pretty confident it's 1912. Right? I'm waiting for the chat to confirm this. Before I lock it in, final answer. Pretty sure it's 1912, final answer. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's my final answer. It's definitely not back in the 80s or 60s. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. This money Come is on. Come on. Come on. Kimpler doesn't know history, but they know Mario. That's crazy, I never knew that. Mario and uh, Jumpman and Pauline. Appearing in uh, well, let's Donkey go Kong. To the next question, if you don't mind. What what can you see in the caves of La Col? La Col. La Col. La Col. Oh. Prehistoric paintings, Roman sculptures, engravings from the time of the French Revolution, weapons from World War II. If I had to guess, I thought this was part of the French mausoleum type thing where you see skulls and everything. Uh, I mean, French catacombs. Um, if I have to guess, it's prehistoric paintings. The caves, right? Caves. Like, it won't. there, there won't be Roman sculptures. There won't be engravings from the time of the French Revolution. There won't be weapons. We still have lifelines. Let's see lifelines, yeah? You know what? I just want to switch the question. How about that? Let's switch so the question. Let's change the question. A switch lifeline well used. It is A. It is A. Should have gone with my gut instinct. I hope you have recovered from your emotions because here Which of is these your new is question. an adverb? Oof. Advance. Back up. In front of. Earlier. So an adverb describes a verb. Advance is just a verb. Backup is a verb. Earlier is an adjective? I'm leading towards in front of is an adverb. Or is that a preposition? Which of these is an adverb? See, I like I like this mode too because there's no time. I can just talk it out. Advance. Back up. In front of. Earlier. I don't think it's advance. I don't think it's backup. I'm 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 torn between in front of or an earlier. Therefore. I'm going to use my 50-50. From now on, the 50-50 will remove two wrong answers to get you out of this predicament. Definitely not A, definitely not B. Okay, then it's C in front of. Final answer. C is the right answer. I would stake my life on it. Final answer? You sure? That's my final answer. I already locked it in, man. Can't if really this is change your it. Final answer. Let's hope it's the correct answer. Got yes. Right. Well done. Yeah, I know for sure advance is a verb. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape.
The game is getting tougher now with this brand new quest. Where do lemurs come from? Reunion Island? Madagascar? The United States? Russia. I think this is a gimme, right? I don't know what Reunion Island is, but it's from Madagascar. 100%. Well, I'm gonna lock try it in. You seem to be convinced, but is lock this it your in. final answer? I'm pretty confident in this. I'm like 90% uh, confident with this. That's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right one. Of course. Yes. One yes. more right answer. <laughs> oh, my goodness, what talent. <laughs> Two more questions for a million dollars. For a million stars. A million stars. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. What is the name of an opposite word? Synonym? Antonym? Patronym? Scent. Scent? That's weird. Uh, it's antonym. Final Pay answer. For me. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your Synonym final answer? Synonym is the word oh. that is yes. similar That's to the other word, but the answer. opposite is antonym. If this is your final answer... And I don't answer, know what a patronym is. Let's hope it's the correct That's like answer. part of Harry Potter's spell, yeah? You figured it out yeah. perfectly. Yeah. Nice answer. Oh, what a relief. Two more questions now. I thought there's... Two more questions. And here's a new question that I hope won't worry what you. What video game was adapted into an animated series in 2017? Metroid? Dragon Quest? Castlevania? Halo. Okay. I haven't spent this many years educating myself to not know the answer to this question. It's not Halo, because the Halo series just came out and there was never an animated series. I want to say Castlevania. Is that the one where Adam Sandler is in? Ho Hotel. Oh, no, that's Hotel Transylvania, right? I can't believe I don't know this. It's not Metroid. That's an animated series in 2017. How do I not know this? A video game that was adapted into an animated series in 2017. Castlevania? I think there was a Netflix anime. Kempler says. A patronym is a component of a personal name based on the given name of one's father, grandfather, or an earlier male ancestor. Ah, oh, look at that. The more I know. A couple of people in the chat are saying C. We have two more questions and two more lifelines. I think we should use our lifeline. Let's By go for the friend. Someone, you may be making sure you get people in the chat are saying C, though, so. Question. Okay, let's go. Let's go with Theo, our son. Big Disney guy, but also big animated series guy. Good big evening. video game guy, too. You're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, good evening. Uh, how are you? Very good. I'm in good company, but now we need your help. Well, especially me in this instance. Listen up, Theo, because I'm really drawing a blank here. It's obviously C. But then it's easier to go out on a limb on this it's end of the line. Obviously, C, and then we got a couple of people in the chat that says C too. So we're gonna go with C. C. Final no answer. Doubt about it. Final? final. That's my final answer. The choice is made. That's the one. Yes. That one more question, I'm guys. One of the more I go back. question. For a million stars. Last question. The game is off to a good start, but you. I've heard a lot of great there. things about the Halo Here series. I kind of want. I do want to watch it too. Oh my God, guys! What part of speech describes a noun? A preposition, a verb, an adverb, an adjective. We know an adverb describes a verb, so we know now that an adjective describes it's a noun. Deep. That's a final answer. Well, actually, Lock it in. I'm sure of it. Is that your final answer? 
Come on. Um, Come on. That's my final answer. All right. What if I got this one wrong? Oh my right god. Answer together. I'm so confident with this one. You're yes. One million dollars. Okay, let's face it, I'm not that proud having a million dollars in the easy mode. It is so, so easy. Uh, 